Reference editing. We have two methods in which we can edit a reference file. The first one is reference editing, in other words, editing a reference file in place. Or we could just open up the original X reference file in a drawing all by itself and make changes. But to do it while we're in place, because that is the usually uh, the most efficient way to do it, is we go up to the reference drop down and we go to edit reference. It'll ask us to select a reference. I'm going to select the, the reference file that has this big circle on it, so I'll select the circle and that picks the reference file. Alternatively, I could select the uh, particular X reference and right click and say edit reference in place. <clears throat> I come up to the identify reference so I can uh, actually, I'm selecting the whole reference file at this point, but if I wanted to just come in and just ch uh, grab the light poles, for example, uh, layer, I could just do that. So I can either pick, you know, block names or layer names that are within that drawing if I'm interested in. I also have the choice of automatically selecting all the nested objects. So if there's nested objects to this file, it'll automatically select it, or it could prompt to select which items I'm interested in. Also, let's go check at settings. In settings, we said we'll create a unique layer style and block names. So uh, that way we can uh, make sure we're not duplicating a layer name. And we're also going to lock all of the objects that are not in the working set. So anything that's in the working set are things that we can edit in this drawing, uh, in this X reference. So I'm going to say OK. And now uh, now I'm available. You can see that uh, this drawing that is available to me is now um, very bold. It's not grayed out. And you can see over here, I have a little toolbar that I have for my edit reference references in which I can save my changes or discard the changes. If I want to add things in, like draw new things, uh, I can transfer them into my actual set. And I can remove things out of, out of my set. So I'll go and uh, make some changes here. I'll, uh, all right, so in here, you know, I can, so this is for when I'm transferring from my host into my reference drawing. I don't want to do that. I just drew new things right in there. So now what I want to do is I want to save my changes. So I save my changes and all the references edits will be saved and I'll say OK and now when I go in you can see that in my reference drawing I've made a change to that reference drawing I kinda went up and edited in place and I made a change to that reference file so it's been updated and brought into my host at this point and I could have closed all my drawings. I could have opened up just this particular file. I could have made the change, made save, opened it all back up again. But that's kind of very inefficient and hard to work on because uh, you're constantly making little minor revisions. It doesn't work so well. These minor revisions actually work really well for in-place reference editing. Of course, if we were making major uh, uh, renovations to our drawings, uh, we'd probably then just go up and open up our actual X reference. Um, so this uh, this this method is called reference editing and allows us to reference uh, a particular reference file, an XREF, make changes to it and save it and it'll save it back to its original file and then update the changes into our host file.